Hi there, it's Chaz, and I am on my own world in Tech World 2 again. I have disabled Ray's minimap for just now because the. You know, if I sh show you real quick. Um, yeah, that would get in the way quite a bit. And I've disabled my waypoints for a little bit. It's a brand new day, the sun is rising. And my base has just gotten an extension. So we shall head on in and see what's new. Although you haven't really seen much of my base before, unless you've been watching my posts on Tumblr. But here we are. I've got a reinforced door, uh, which is helping to contain this reactor over here. This is a big reactor's reactor. I, It's the only nuclear reactor I have the know-how to operate. <laughs> Like if I try the if I try the IC2 reactor type stuff, that is, it's just gonna explode. But big reactors don't explode yet, apart from the turbines. But you know, um, so I'll just go in and oops, wrong thing. I'll just go in and show you that uh, everything's working. There's the input and output ports. Um, it's currently half full on its own energy buffer. It's powering my hardened energy cell, which is completely full. And here is its computer port, which is connected to the computer crash computer. Uh, because I really wanted to do this quite a while back. So, I already have everything set up. Um, let me just show you. Uh, I have start, stop, and diag. Uh, these three commands I'm going to be giving the paste bin commands to in. Um, yeah, in the description below. Sorry if I'm a little bit slow in talking, I'm half asleep. <laughs> but yeah, you'll be able to just type in paste bin get and then the URL uh, thing and then you can just name them whatever you want. I've named them diag start and stop. So I will show you that um, if I want to start the reactor all I have to do is type in start and it's starting the reactor and you can see the reactor control thing has gone green so it is actually starting reactor is active and now that everything's warmed up it gives me the stats about the reactor I, I deliberately set it up so it would uh, take like 15 seconds for the startup because uh, the reactor takes a little while to warm up uh, before I can get an accurate reading of the uh, fuel usage and power output and stuff like that. Now, if I were to run Diag, starting reactor diagnostics, the reactor is running and it shows me all that stuff, and then it also shows me uh, in a few seconds some more stuff, <laughs> uh, including the control rod thing. Um, I haven't actually set up the control rods yet, but I will be doing that soon. I'm also going to try and see if I can uh, set things up to output waste and reprocess it once I build a reprocessor. And then of course when I want to stop it again, I just type stop. And it says it's stopping the reactor, I give it a few seconds to let the reactor cool down, and the reactor is stopped. Now if I were to do the diag command, Let's see, starting reactor diagnostics, reactor is inactive, continuing diagnostics, so it'll still show me how much fuel and waste is in there, and what the control rod is currently at. So yeah, that is my reactor. Um, I hope you had fun uh, watching this video, or, you know, well, me rambling over uh, computer craft stuff, but I hope you uh, liked what I've done. Like I said, I'm going to be posting the links in the description below, and I shall see you again soon. See us.